I love the forests and lakes of Maine, and when I moved from Iowa 35 years ago, I thought I had moved to Wonderland. <laughs> now my job is to take care of this place, and I feel really lucky. Tonight I'll introduce a favorite spot in northern Maine with a rich history and a new story. And I'm working like crazy to conserve it forever by making it a new national park. So this 150,000 acre area borders Baxter State Park on the east. The east branch of the Penobscot River divides the land diagonally. The east branch is a special river for the Penobscot Nation. The land was heavily logged for years, but now it's growing wild again. Roxanne Quimby, founder of Burt's Bees, started this ball rolling. She moved to Maine 40 years ago, and like me, she fell in love with our woods and waters. She began buying forest land, and now she and her son, Lucas St. Clair, want to donate this area to become a national park. It's a once-in-a-lifetime gift to all of us and to future generations. But change can be tough, especially in an area where people once relied on pulp and paper mills. Today, the mills in the Katahdin region are closed. Those jobs have disappeared. Towns like Millinocket are searching for new opportunities. And studies show that national parks have revitalized rural towns like these around the country. So for the last three years, the Natural Resources Council of Maine has been working with Lucas to move this proposal forward. The land has been reopened to the public, and we were one of the first groups to visit, and we had a blast, even though a major tornado blew in the night before we arrived, and I was afraid to lose the entire brain trust of NRCM. <laughs> <laughs> We've had hundreds of kitchen table conversations with Katahdin area residents. We've listened, and as a result, a national recreation area has been added to the proposal that will allow snowmobiling and hunting. And while change is hard, and some people in the area have not yet embraced this idea, hundreds of people now support it, including the Katahdin Area Chamber, Maine Innkeepers, and the Bangor City Council. There's so much to do here. You can hike and camp and fish and paddle and mountain bike and cross-country ski and go birding and see the dark night sky. We've been organizing trips so people can experience firsthand just how special this place is, and everyone we take is wowed and quickly becomes a supporter. There are six mountain peaks, and last summer, the Maine Conservation Corps cut new trails there. Here we are, standing on top of Deasy Mountain. We took a group up Barnard Mountain and have another mountain hike plan planned this August. The International Appalachian Trail also crosses this land as it winds from Baxter north to Canada. Along the New Loop Road, there is a place called the Overlook with a breathtaking view of Mount Katahdin. Now, you may have seen or climbed Katahdin before, but I doubt that you have seen it from this vantage point. Maine's natural beauty stretches as far as the eye can see. We took our board of directors up when the fall colors were spectacular. Now, paddling is my favorite thing, and you can canoe or kayak one of three rivers, the East Branch of the Penobscot, the Savoyas, or the Wasada Cook Stream. There are flat water trips and plenty of exciting whitewater. We've spent pleasant afternoons paddling past silver maples, exploring side channels, and watching bald eagles. And last year, 40 people joined us on their mountain bikes. They came from as far away as Massachusetts and as close as Benedicta. One local writer said on our blog, the day couldn't have been more perfect. Well, can you imagine anywhere, anywhere more perfect to take a bike ride? I can't. Maine is a hot spot for special northern birds like spruce grouse, and there are plenty to see here. This group is watching some rusty blackbirds which have been in decline in recent decades. So permanently protecting their habitat is one of the many important goals for this proposal. And during the cold winter months, the long dark nights, these woods are glorious. Here's one of our groups skiing across a frozen pond with the Traveler's Range and Baxter in the background. There's now a network of ski trails, and you can stay at two private wilderness camps along the way. Several of my staff have been up there and bought gas and food, all good for the local economy. And many artists will find this fertile ground, from writers to painters to photographers. Last summer, we co-sponsored a watercolor workshop with a local painter and gallery owner. Now, how's that for plein air? You could turn in any direction to pick your subject, and we were happy to feature Millinocket's North Light Gallery. Always bring your camera, because you never know what you might see. I caught this um, moose cow and her calf off one of the remote ponds off the loop road. 
I always love how moose like dip in the water for grass and they come up and the water swooshes off their antlers. I have yet to see a bear, but there's plenty of their scat along the trails. And in the spring, there are lovely wildflowers everywhere. Hawkweed grows along the roadside. This cordalis was tucked behind a boulder. The lady slipper and bunch berries were in the shade. This wild purple clematis only grows in northern hardwood forests like these, another reason to protect them. Now, I've spoken to people from Portland to Presque Isle, and everywhere, people's eyes light up at this prospect. I know I won't convince everyone to love this idea as much as I do, but I think the vast majority of people here see this as a good move for Maine. There were concerns about Acadia when it was proposed a century ago, and now we can't imagine Maine without it. National parks really are America's best idea. Now, creating a new national park takes an act of Congress, literally. So we need our delegation in Washington to be on board, and we all need to push them really hard this year to make this dream come true. In 2016, the uh, National Park Ser Service celebrates its 100th anniversary, and it's a good window to create a new main park. I hope I've enticed you to come, see the land for yourself. You'll be hearing more about it, so be in the know. Bring your canoe, your fishing pole, your hiking boots, and a bunch of your friends. Check our website to get directions, and let me know if I can help you. Because I want my grandkids and my friends' grandkids all across the country and beyond to have places like the woods and waters of Maine to fill their souls like they have filled mine. I love Maine so much, and I am very proud to be working on conserving this wonderful place through the creation of Maine's next national park. So join the fun as we pump up the volume and turn this vision into a reality.